Hello, beautiful people. Losing Dre here. Sorry for the camera uh, mess up. And uh, Blueby gave me a, um, I don't know if I want to call it a battle wound or a love wound. Anyways, I'm doing a quick um, review, pretty much. There is this company online. I hope you can see this. It's called Rose Wholesale. They are uh, rosewholesale.com. And uh, pretty much... I don't know, dating back to whenever the heck it was, I had placed an order online. I had kept seeing down the sidebar on Facebook um, these beautiful blouses and stuff popping up. And I pretty much wanted to, um, I think it was around the 18th of November. No, that's when they answered me. I'm sorry. It was a lot sooner than that. Anyways, uh, I, I wanted to... Um, buy something from them. So I, I clicked on the link, it showed me a shirt for 10 bucks, but then it charged me when I went and bought it like $13 and it didn't give me the opportunity for this 10% code or anything that they were supposedly offering. So they totally ripped me off because I told them I just placed an order but nowhere did it did I see how to apply the 10% discount I thought I was getting for registering to the website or signing up with my email. I didn't get any confirmation. I said also the blouse I purchased for the cost of thirteen fifty six was seen first on an ad that I was shown on Facebook and then a few other sites I visited before shopping your site for just ten dollars. I am sure unsure why it would not show me the same price when I came back to your site. Then when I joined the site, uh, shopping a bit, putting some things in my cart and thinking I could return and everything would still be in there, they were not there, and I had to spend time looking for the items again, only now the prices seem they were higher, which is exactly what happened. Um, they took their time answering me back first, it was like the 10th of November, where customer support got back to me saying, thanks for your inquiry, we tell you, sorry to inform you that the coupon can't be applied to this order since you paid for it already. Convenient. Um, <clears throat> and that you can use it next time before it is expired. Like, am I going to shop this place next time? Uh, I received my order, and I'm missing a blouse. I ordered two blouses, um, a necklace, which it's not on as long as a chain as I would like it to be. It's pretty nice. Hubby likes it. He said he would even wear it. Um, but it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a short one. And I ordered this uh, ear cuff from them, which I haven't figured out exactly how to wear yet. Okay, it's a dragon. And I think one side goes in my... Oh, no, it's not going to do it. Smaller ear hole. And then the dragon wraps around my ear, something like this. or Or in my ear, maybe like that. I don't know. I have to look at it. So I came online again. I have a hard time pulling up my um, tickets. They sent me an email with my ticket number for any of my support issues. And it does the link does not work. So I have to go in and go through a bunch of stuff before I can find a link that will actually show me the support ticket. So anyway, so that was on the 10th of November. Um, and then I contacted them back on the 17th, and I said, well, why was I shown a price that was less than the price charged through um, the, the upon selection or whatever? I mean, they're probably Chinese, and I've already confused them enough. But anyways, their support says, thanks for your reply. We apologize for the inconvenience that ha that have been caused. Please kindly give us more detailed information about your order. Once we receive your reply, we'll offer you solutions. If there's any further in, uh, queries, or quires, please feel free to contact us. Best regards, Sable. So once again, they're not, they're not an answering really anything. They're just being very vague about it. And so then I said on the 25th, which is today, um, I received only part of my order, and I'm still missing a blouse I ordered. I am not sure how to see that it was been shipped sep separate or still on back order until you have it in stock again. I'm sorry about the noise in the background. Hold on while I close this, because I have very rude family members. member. It's my mother. Anywho, so that's where I'm at with this company right now. And one of the other problems that I'm, I'm very, I'm not really happy with, like if I can show you... Uh, the blouse that I ordered, the blouse that was sent, there's two blouses that I ordered, actually. I'm going to see if I can bring up my orders. 
Let me see how I can do that. Let me see. Okay. It, it wants to give me a hard time. Their website sucks. It's not um, not really user friendly. As far as like browsing, like there's right now they're showing a Black Friday coupon code for 13% off with the coupon code right at the top of the screen. That is clear for me to see. I don't know if you guys can see that up there at the top. It ends December 2nd. Okay, they're having a closeout uh, Thanksgiving sale and well this thing keeps changing but whatever. 13 13% off. There's the coupon code again, okay? Hopefully you can see what I'm trying to show you guys without getting sick. I'm I'm not trying to I know that could be annoying when the camera's moving. Anyways, I'm trying Okay, here. I found where to click for my order. Here's my order. I spent 37.31 showed it was shipped. And this plunging neckline loose slitting fitting blouse I'm gonna right click and open it in a new tab so you can see that's this beautiful dress right there okay hopefully hopefully I'm doing this right okay they did not send that blouse okay it didn't come it does not say anywhere in here that that blouse was not sent not on back order nothing okay charged me everything and said that they shipped everything okay it says here that I do not need an invoice I never told them that um, and I ordered on November 9th so today's the 25th so it took almost um, two two weeks it yeah, a little over two weeks to get here and so here they shipped it okay DHL airmail shipping information that it was shipped out doesn't say nothing is on back order and it shows a package here here's the package okay it doesn't show what's in the package it just shows the package and then over here to the side there's a bunch of packages so obviously they sell a lot and I'm um, not like I'm trying to give away my address or anything. I really don't care if you see it because I'm not hiding anything. But anyways, lo and behold, I do not have this blouse I was charged for. And there's no, nothing, it doesn't say anything that it wasn't shipped out. Um, so I'm a little confused. I want to know where my other blouse is because now not only was I totally ripped off for the amount of money that I was charged compared to what I was shown on the website that I would be charged when I selected it but even though I went ahead with the order now they're not even they didn't even send the other blouse so I don't see but one package that had been sent I don't feel where the other blouse has been uh, sent so they owe me a blouse or they owe me ten dollars plus the amount of the money for the thirteen fifty six they charged me for a blouse that was supposed to be ten dollars and my ten percent off um, not that thirteen percent I know that's today special but when I signed up for the site it told it promised me for signing up and registering for the site that I would get ten percent so that's where I'm at with this company again here's the thing it's called Rose Wholesale and if you can see that Rose Wholesale uh, they're showing links not only on Facebook, but I guess once I clicked on them and cookies were set, I was seeing these banners showing up. I'm sorry, I look like hell. I was seeing these banners showing up all over the place uh, with all of their clothing in, in a little, um, like, I don't know what you want to call those things, but my cat's gone a little nuts. Like a banner, you know, with a bunch of different outfits and stuff that are that are appealing, which made me want to click on it and see, and then I wanted it. Anyways, okay, so now here's the other problem. So now this dress, the one that they charged me th it's a blouse. They charged me 1356 for. Okay, this is this is the exact one, color and all. Beautiful, huh? Okay. And you see this little corset lacy part up at the top here. Hopefully you can see it. Anyhow, the blouse comes. And I don't know if you can see this. If I could put it up over myself here. I, I think it's I probably got one way too big for myself here. But anyways, um, this is where the corset part is supposed to go. Okay. But it's not corseted. They sent me my own ribbon to put it in myself. And nowhere here in this description does it say that I would have to put the shirt together myself? 
So this is what I'm going through with this particular company. So I'm putting it out there as a Rose Wholesale Review. And I'm not very happy with them. Um, they give you points if you return every day to their site. Every day you get one point. The second day you get two points. The third day you get three points. All the way up to six points in six days. Um, and I'm not sure after the sixth day if they keep giving just six points. But I think that's like the cap every day. If you don't go for one day, you'll go back to getting one point. So like if I go one day, I get one point. The second day, I get two points. The third day, I get three points. But if I skip a day, the next day I go back, I'll just get one point. And it'll start all over again. One, two, three. Um, if you leave a review, supposedly, of the outfit or the product that you got, you'll get points. Um, what these points are really used for, I don't know. Okay? I, they're discounts. They're, they're, they're set up. It stinks. And there's so many other websites that are selling these same items. So obviously, I think they're like drop shop drop ship <laughs> drop shipped items. Um, my eyes barely look open in this video. But anyway, so what I'm trying to say here is this Rose Wholesale, and I've seen other sites that it might be the same owners because they look very similar. Not sure if the drop shipping company where they're getting this from is just a major uh, distribution type drop shipping company that they supply sellers with the website so that they can sell whatever items they pick and choose out of their stock um, I have no idea I've seen quite a few of these different websites you have a $10 mall though I hear is great um, I'm not really sure that I saw their stuff but that keeps popping up I put in my bookmarks under my shopping sites um, quite a few different uh, there's bohemian dresses which is zafu z-a-f-u dot com I have not shopped there I'm just telling you these are these are sites that have come up that show these same items in the sexy corsets and whatnot there's um there's another site called nasty dress n-a-s-t-y dress d-r-e-s-s -S, all one word dot com um, and then there is, uh, cheap women's dresses, which is, uh, tbdress.com, T like Tom, B like boy, dress.com. Um, nasty dress comes up here a lot. Sammy dress.com. That's S A M M Y D R E S S.com. Now, none of these sites have I shopped on, um, but they are sites, oh, Dress dress Lily is another one, D-R-E-S-S-L-I-L-Y. So anyways, what I'm trying to say here is that all of these sites have come up in banners and whatnot, probably because of the fact that I've clicked on or shopped at Rose Wholesale, that they know that, um, that I either visited or was interested in these kind of clothing and these blouses, and they're showing the same exact thing. The shoes, the jewelry, everything, they have the same stuff. So I'm not, uh, this review is not on those sites because I haven't shopped on those sites. They might not have anything to do with those sites. But I'm just saying um, this, for some reason, the package said that it's USPS tracking. Originally, it says on their website, DHL. Originally, it was sent from some China thing here. I don't know if you can see this on the bottom, on the packaging on the bottom. It's in Chinese. See that? But um, the tracking and whatnot was from USPS, and then it comes from Staten Island, New York. So I'm, I'm, oh, that way. I'm super confused about where it came from. Probably came from a bunch of different places. The fact they took a picture of it, with not taking a picture of what exactly they were putting in the envelope. <laughs> I don't know how these people think. But that's where I'm at with this particular uh, review, and I just wanted to put that out there because as a consumer, this is not the kind of good quality customer service I would expect from any company. I think it's just all around just bad, 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 bad communication, um, bad, you know, bad situation with sending something. If it's on back order, just say it's on back order. Um, sorry, my nose is itching. And... Um, Pretty much that's it. So that's all I wanted to say on this video. Be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, just be you. Be the boss of your own loss if you're on a weight loss journey. I'll definitely be seeing you in my next video, whether it be a review, something about my weight loss, some food, something or whatever. And that's it. Bye, guys. Be blessed. 
Hey guys, one more thing I just I just noticed. Um, because I'm sitting here now trying to put my corseted part of my blouse together. I just realized there are no tags whatsoever in this garment. Like, I know what the front of the garment is supposed to be by looking at the picture. Obviously, it's the corseted part. However, inside the garment, I mean, usually you know what's the front and what's the back by the gar by the tag, but I wanted to see if there was some something in it, you know, to say where it came from, who made it, you know, so just putting that out there. One more thing, and this is going to be it so far. Um, I'm counting five in between, so it's like every sixth hole. I'm having to pull this ribbon through. Um, as far as getting it done, let me see if I can do this and hold the camera. So from this one down, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm having to use this pliers. Let me see if I can hold this. Oh, excuse me. Technical difficulties here. I don't have any help. But anyways, um, I'm trying to show you how I'm having to do this myself. You have to kind of like fold this in half. It's coming apart. It's fraying. But you have to hold it, fold it in half. Do this over the phone. Hold the phone. And um, grab it with the needle nose pliers like that so I can pull it through. And um, then I can fix it up. Sorry, I had to do that one handed. But anyways, what I just realized was this ribbon, look at the color of it. Okay. Now look at the shirt. I don't know if you can see that. That ribbon is black. Okay. Ribbon is black. It is not the same color of the shirt. So right there is another faux pas or whatever you want to call it. So I'm technically, I'm not really happy with this uh, situation because it took so long to get here and it's probably got to go back to either China or perhaps the shipping department in Staten Island, New York. I haven't figured it out yet. Um, I don't know how I'm going to return it. I really wanted to wear it tonight. I'm um, gravely upset over the situation. I could go out and get myself a little cheap ribbon. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. And fix that particular problem. But I was already charged $3.56 more for this blouse, which got me to buy it in the first place. And I also just noticed there is a tear here on the shirt. And you'll see that. I can get a better to tear. Let me see. It's it's hard. It's hard. You know, I haven't even. You know, I don't try to be nitpicky about cheap clothing like this. I've never really bought. Oh, there's another one on this side too. Here we go. I don't know why that is. There's a tear on both sides. Okay, I don't even know if I was recording that. Um, I just kind of showed you how I have to uh, lace this up. But in doing so, um, in case I... It's, it's too hard to do, but I'm having to use needle nose pliers. And I'm counting between uh, five holes between um, on each side. And then crossing, you know, like lacing up shoes. But... Um, I wish my husband was here to hold my phone. Um, but I'm counting one, two, 
let me see if I can do this, one, two, three, four, five, and then putting the needle nose pliers in, and then taking the end of this, and um, you can see how it's frayed, and I'm squeezing it, and then grabbing it with the needle nose pliers, and pulling it through to the other side. But I also noticed, aside from the fact that the ribbon is not the same color um, as it shows on the website, it's supposed to be black, uh, there are two tears on the very one here and one over here on the very top of the shirt. It, it's very, it's not cut all the way down into where it's sewn. Very cheaply made, oops, very cheaply made shirt. Um, and, and I'm just saying, this is definitely not what I expected, um, not what they show on the website. You can tell the stitching, the thinness of the material, um, you know, I guess you get what you pay for. I've never ordered anything like this online, so I couldn't tell you, but what I can tell you is I guarantee that this is not going to last through very many washings. And it's not going to be anything more than probably a disposable outfit. So um, I guess I'll have to probably get back to you one day as to how well it wears and um, um, how long it lasts. But I, I'm, I'm not happy with this purchase or the outcome of the whole situation and having to lace this up. And the fact that it clearly shows it's, it's black, the uh, stitching here in the center. It, it's black. You can see that. And yet, the stitching on the shirt is, um, I mean, it's ribbon, but it's not black. And I'm pretty sure, like, I have a, a bunch of ribbon over there. So, I'm pretty sure I can probably put my own black ribbon in here if I really want to get technical with it. Um, but yeah, that's that's where we're at with the situation. So I just wanted to put that out there. Buyer beware. <laughs> um, I lucked out with the uh, with the buttonhole situation or whatever the lace hole situation. They're, they're exactly meet perfect together on the bottom with enough holes and to do what I'm supposed to do here with the tie off but I don't know I'm almost afraid to complain um, I wouldn't want some small child who's conducting child labor over where they make these things to uh, get beat on or something 